everybody. Oh, I'm trying to fight, I'm trying to fight. I what it is. I'm trying to get to the This is the coldest fucking thing that's going on. Right. Wall. These are the realest niggas out here. Yeah, you already know. Like, it's real. Yeah. Like, this. Oh, God. I go off the brutality of the woman. And I know if I, if I know my woman. What the hell? Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the smartest dumb people, and I'm the host, Anthony, that dude, Johnson. And always, 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 there's going to be somebody at this table. I got my brother in the building, LV the Great, Cal, my bro, came through. I appreciate y'all, Kings, for coming through to chop it up with us. This is the smartest dumb people. Listen, it's Tap In Tuesday. It's, it's the same Tuesday, always the same Tuesday at 8 p.m. We do the same thing. We have conversations about what's going on in the world. Same bad time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Listen, uh, Cal, we were speaking before the show started. You sure that's in Omaha? Because I want them to see this clip. And Mike, well, already, the, uh, uh, Mike and them being back in town. Oh, yeah, no, because I always check out 95.7. Man. It's crazy that 95.7 don't work in North Omaha. That what is 95? You talking about the boss? Yeah, the radio station. Oh, okay. So, yeah, DJ Payne, he back. He back well, in Omaha, man. Work. It's a real... But I had hey. some whips that didn't work, but the whip I'm in now works. Well, the point but, is, uh, they do need to get that worked on. But the point is, uh, he back though, man, and it sound he sound good, dude. professional, like he been doing it for twenty five years, and so he has been, years. man. Listen, they been DJs. I, I was telling you, they they got a line of fucking genetics in in their DNA of DJs. They dad was a DJ. Uh, mm -hmm. R. I. P. To uh, Mr. Payne, which was one of the amazing human beings I've ever met in my life. He was a referee, a DJ, a fucking great father, a great man. That's why his fun sons follow in his footsteps. Right. But then you had Didi, which I guarantee you, that's who you're probably talking about. Mm. I don't know Didi's real. I do. Well, I'm free. DJ free. free. <laughs> I think it was Farrell. I think it's DJ Farrell or some shit I like that. I thought it was free. I don't know. I was telling him, man. I, I think it's free. It's DeAndre. I could tell you like this. Light skin dude, ball. Yeah, yeah light skin. Man, I'm light light I went to Dallas, man. It was crazy. Back to back night, I ran to the, these clubs and they was both hosting the clubs, DJing. One was here, DJ Payne here on Friday, DJ Freeze here on Saturday in Dallas from Omaha. Had, had it going? Out, man. Had it bumping. Had it lit? Yeah. Listen, There's man, a pipeline uh, from Omaha to Dallas, y'all. I know, I know. It's like I, a pipeline. It's like a like, Nebraska Furniture Mart uh, pipeline from Omaha to Texas I'm or Dallas. There, like people traveling there like... Yeah, kind of but I'm gonna tell you like Mike is my dog, and I remember no, I hear about told you like, if he's in town, he will be on the show within the next. Mike, week. you in town, man? That's Let my know, dog. Man. He already yeah. know what it is. That's yeah. like my bro, bro. Let so I didn't know nothing about this. I thought they were in Texas doing. I, I seen them posting flyers, and shit, and I went and tried to look at the addresses and things like that. Uh, but as far as I know, the last time I reached out to him, it, it, like Mike, he in the military, he did some shit in the military, uh, not yeah. anymore, but. He does. Uh, I could be wrong though. I could. Be I, wrong. I hope you're not because be wrong, that would be an amazing show. Y'all let us know, matter of fact. Y'all at home ain't yeah, yeah, check it out. That? Look, y'all know what like tags. Yeah, you can let us know in the comments. Make sure y'all like and share, man. Let's get to the show, man. Uh, first topic. No, not first topic. How was our week? Let's get to that, man. Mine, mine, man. Mine's cool, man. Mine's real, mine's real cool, man. Cali yeah. Cal just pulled up in the goat. You pulled up in the motherfucking Batmobile. Yeah, What's that, Cal? Every day is sunny, man. Just stay above the clouds, oh, man. man. Yeah, he pulled up. That's my motto. Yeah, hey, Cal, you know what's funny as I feel like I, I, think, oh, I, think, man, I thought man. he was in a rave. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think me, I think me and Cal, I think me and you got the same philosophy in life, for real, dog. Yeah. I literally <laughs> don't care about nothing but what <laughs> <laughs> like bro, I could deal with the rest. I could deal. I could deal with the rest. Wake Waking up, up. yeah. Oh just, man, and man, I see them. My kids, man, they wake up happy to be back. Yeah, I see them, man, they're smiling, both man. Yes, Cal, do you remember the story yeah. of when we was at Bird House a long time ago? I was telling you the difference between having a son and a daughter. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that shit? Uh, I said that a lady told me, I'll never forget it because it stuck with me and it's always going to stick with me and you're now becoming that person. She said the difference between having a son and a daughter is the son want to do what you do. The daughter is going to say, Daddy, where are you going? There's a big difference. She said once you realize that about life, that the, the, the female perspective and the and the male's perspective is completely total opposite. And they oh. and they your your child, like you just happen to have Charlie first. Right. So she taught you how to love. So you Oh man, it is beautiful. You know what I realized? I can see the kid in women now. Cause I've seen Charlie grow up and her natural ways just being a girl. 
Now I can see that in women, grown ass women. I'm like, oh, that's the girl in me. That's the baby girl. Oh, so that I'm pre- I'm pre- we might, have to, we might have to have a show on that. Y'all. Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah, well, yeah, well you, you got a quick unpack, a quick little. So, you say that the is it the attention that you see that similar? Oh, yeah, what uh, is parallel? You know what? I don't even know if I can point it out specifically, but just the way it's been just being a girl. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, the attention. The uh, their emotions, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, of course, you can't be as firm and you know as a boy. This sounds childlike. So you saying women have childlike? Uh, oh man, you know you got to love. What, what do we say? Hey, baby, we call them babies, right? Yeah, my you state, know what I'm saying? So in, in a way, we take care of them and all that. So yeah, I, I, but see, Leland, all just listen. Anybody that watches the show, everybody that watches the show, know who Leland is. They know the weird, twisted angles he's gonna take. But I want to say to you, man to man, I want to say to you, man to man, you're spot on. And once we change that in our culture and realize, like, damn, we we really don't know how to love women Ooh. until we have that daughter. We we had that conversation. Well, I, That's gonna be our first topic anyway. Give it a second. Uh, I know that like, ain't real. Well, no, you might know I love, but not like she that. Me, yeah, yeah, not I like can that. See it now. I can see it. Like, oh, this is where it comes from. It begins like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, and, and like, tell me, the way you treat Charlie, me. the way you treat, and I sorry to keep using your daughter's name, but the way you treat yeah, your yeah. baby. She's literally going to expect that from a man. Oh like, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. ass. Right. That's right. the you're, you're setting the standard. Right, right. There like you know. even when you was feeding, like you and her went to a restaurant the other day. I seen it on. And we gonna go over that in yeah. part B of the motherfucking yeah. conversation. <laughs> well, we but, but I just like how you okay. treat her. Okay. And I'm telling you, all you're doing is instilling her. This is how a man treats me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, exactly. And, yeah. And, set the standard. Of course. But they don't like that. All right. Let's get to the topic. Let's get to the first topic. Okay. Women don't like nice guys. This is what the toxic <laughs> this is what the toxic world has brought into society. Let's have the conversation. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with you. About you? Yeah, she has to care. Um, mm-hmm. I can't. I I learned early. I used to be the nice guy. I was the guy who was going to open the door, get her flowers, tell, mm-hmm. tell her I, I care so much, <laughs> and all that We all simped back in the day. Yeah, like, I was a simp back in the day. Yeah, and I got a town stomped on. on. <laughs> I, I, I got a town stomped on, bro. With the Tim's on. <laughs> with, the, with the butters on, bro. That's with the crazy. butters on. Yeah. And, then, and then it clicked, and I realized, like, all right, I can't give you all that. Right. And as soon as I stopped giving all that, I got a lot of women. So it was like, all right. They don't like nice guys, bro. I can't be nice. I can't be. I can't show you that. Does her body count matter? Does her body count matter? Right. Of course. Of course. All right, so that's the actual clip of a guy saying that he got more women when he stopped being nice to them. Basically, he was like, when I was nice to women, they stepped right over me, stomped right over me. Which, Darius, I'm going to be honest with you. I noticed this about women. And, and, and please, y'all, attack me if y'all want to in the comments. Uh, like and share. Make sure you like and share. Oh, yeah. Make sure you send like stars. Up. Make sure Read you send the them stars. You can too. tip. All right, so listen. All I'm saying is, I did notice right. this. Make Women sure love assholes. All right, so listen. That you think that's true? I know it. I, I've been around women that loves assholes. They don't want a guy that's coming and opening doors. The, the romantic side of men is gone. Because you know what they're listening to now? They're listening to Moneybag Yo and Gorilla. They're listening to, uh, what's the dude that just came? Uh, it's cool when they do it. The problem not doing it. He got, uh, he got uh, a he song. Two times. Yeah, for that two times. Time. But he got a song as he's being oh, romantic man. and he does this, but he's like calling it bitch. And that's two times in Kevin Gates, man. I don't, uh, I don't Gates. Know, man. Finesse, if finesse. I there's one the verse that there. finesse say that that mm-hmm. when he say talking about he stepped on her neck while he was hitting her, and it resonated with me because that's how you hit. It resonated, yeah. Like first of all, that's weird, dog. I ain't trying to do nothing with my feet on nothing with nobody doing anything right, right. Yeah. intimate. Well, it ain't got to be intimate. Anything. You know what I'm saying? With that, I ain't doing that. Now, I might do a little, you know, weird stuff. Role play. But nothing disrespectful. Role play. I ain't, yeah, stop, yeah. I ain't stepping on nobody in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I ain't definitely ain't role playing. Man, I, listen, but, I, I haven't had a chance to role play, but I would definitely. But you know play. what, though? That's a different culture, though, man. They in a different world, though, too. So they talk differently, man. They grow up differently. You know, they talk to their mamas differently down there, you know, coming up. Oh, yeah. So it's just a different. 
And, mm -hmm. and we'll look at it, you know, we're all politically correct up here, believe it or not, with no accent mm -hmm. and just very polite overall. So go down south, though, man, they, we'll look at it as vulgar. You know right. what I'm saying? But that's just how they is. Yeah, yeah. So you think it's a southern thing? It's a southern, just, I mean, niggas here is like that too, though. I it could be like so. that yeah, too, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, just in the overall, their vernacular, just that'll come around. So, so more, just you said rough. it made me so Dog different the, than what, what, at least we, least. what we like. Now, like, he might really be saying he hitting it like that and dogging her out, but that's just part of their culture, you know, a little bit more than I. And up north, I, yeah, I always thought this. I, I thought I thought everybody wanted to go north to get a good old southern man. Now I don't know nobody stiff, no nobody neck. Well, I'm doing. I thought anything. the southern man was supposed to be the romantic, uh, nice guy. Oh man, shit! Yeah, they're that deep south though. You got some dudes out there. Listen, they look different. They feel okay. different. All right, Lena, what's your angle? Because this so, is really something we're right. talking about. All what's right. your angle on women uh, not liking nice men? Well, the thing is, is that. There's a narrative that's already created. James Dean. Man, that's way before me. Uh, Patrick Swayze. Uh, Ghost? Those uh, are all nice men. What are you talking about? Them nice men? James Dean? Oh, uh, listen. You think they're nice because they're white. But James Dean was playing turkey. <laughs> James Dean was playing chicken with the law. You know what I'm saying? James, so all the images that is portrayed of being sexy are bad so, guys. Are you talking James Dean, the dude that played in the American Psycho? Guy, yeah. Is, is, is that no, 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 no. You're talking about Robert De Niro. No, that That's Robert. American Psycho. But anyhow, the image of sexy is bad. Yeah, bad boy. Cigarettes. Leather coat. Maybe well, that's because of grease. This shit, shit like grease. Right. Like, grease. Nice coming off as soft is, is what you're saying. Nice coming off as soft. Bad is coming off as hard. Like, yeah. like well, bad is coming off as I can. he can go get it for her. Maybe Maybe she's thinking that a bad boy is more protected or something. Do you nice consider yourself a soft. bad boy? Fuck no. I'm, way, I'm soft. Especially. I think right people want soft, the opposite. Man. I'm very I soft. think the people but want the opposite. you know what? I'm polite, but I ain't really nice. That's what I always say. I think the people want the opposite of their parents. And so many parents try to play nice, try to do that, and the kids know that this is a you acting. You know what I'm saying? And so when they venture out, that's just like most black men when they venture out and they start yeah. mingling, they mingle with white women. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think because that's they want the opposite I don't think of the that. person that of the woman that is bothering them. The image <laughs> of the, the woman. Ass. The, the image of the woman yeah. that is on them that they want to escape is whoever the mom is. Yeah. Now, is that true with everybody? I don't think it's true at all. Well, that's because you're, that's you're not built like that, maybe, but. Why you doing that? Let me unpack that. Because uh, my mom is black. Right. right. And I had a black wife for 20 years. Okay. So I don't think that is necessarily the narrative. I actually feel like. The reason why I married my black wife was because of her and my mother was very similar. And that's what we were told. We wanted somebody like our mom. But then I realized longer, later down the line is... You didn't like the similarity? Um, uh, listen, uh, well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I not to speak for no, you. No, no, no. Not at all. I'm just saying I'm that I, I think that like there's not... Uh, I don't think that it has nothing to do with race. I think it has something to do with, like, when it comes to a nice guy, women have the perception of the bad boys are sexier. This is has always been pushed in the, in the agenda of society since the beginning of time with Greece, with fucking uh, Crybaby. Remember Crybaby? He's a bad boy. You remember? Uh, right, right. Like, so, so we understand. Doing the dude that would cry. Yeah, Greece was before my time. But, but listen, you remember the guy, Johnny Depp, <laughs> in the movie? He, he, he was called Crybaby. No, I don't. And right. he was like a bad boy that only cries out of one eye. Do you remember that? And when he cried, the, the, the preppy girl that had her family that was rich, she loved him. He was like, you don't want nothing to do with me. I'm broken. And he had like a motorcycle and all this shit. This was always pushed. So when we say that women don't like nice guys, I think it's more of a thing that was already an agenda that to some. Just culture. Well, well, culture, culture hold on. So, but. Their, so, but. Their, so, but. I don't know. There is a level of. 
Make sure you like and share. Make sure you like and share. Bravado, which may be perceived as uh, confidence or cockiness or uh, arrogance or, uh, um, you know, self-insured. It depends on, but it's said that women like that, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's only up to a certain point. Because if you like it, then all the women like it. And so... What? You like it all. If one woman like it... I think women like... All the women. But I think women like any any man that they think other men... Women always been competing with each other since the beginning of time. So you so, think women like any man that think women... Any man... That's what a woman? A woman think that... A, why do you think a married man... Women attack him more or want him well, more. Well, because of course, because they know he can provide. Obviously, if you got a wife, that's what they. I, like. I personally would. I take know broke motherfuckers married with a ring well, they, oh, like, and, like, and oh, a side joint. Well, they might see him as <laughs> and, and the, the side joint to provide. About, why are we even talking about this? Uh, because he was saying, dude was like, I, I was a nice guy, I want to be a bad boy, and now I get more girls. Well, yeah, he said ever since I started oh, saying man. fuck them like that, they oh. start really heavily fucking with me and like wanting yeah. me. Well, you can't come up like a simp and be like everybody else. Well, that's what they say in the clip. And so, so the bad chicks, is, they get that. But what's a time. simp though, bro? Because like I'm the type of person I've always been nice to women. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Me too. So, me too. So, so, so it may be perception. So say, uh, say you see Ronda Rossi and Beyonce, and but one of these women had to protect you. Who would you choose? What kind of question? I, I, I'll tell you his angle. I can tell you his angle. I would choose uh, Ronda Rousey in a heartbeat. Unless, if we talk about uh, a one billion dollar Beyonce, I'm taking Beyonce because we got security. No, so let, let, let's be logical. Let's, let's be logical. logical. No, we both make it. Yes, no, we, no, we no, can stand on Ronda Rousey in a heartbeat. Because, yeah. uh, well, because a lot of times, bad or the behavior of being bad is perceived as oh, aggressive, yeah. as protection. But they're not really. Oh, but it's so saying. my so my question is like bad Beyonce is a bad whatever she got all this, but really when it comes down to it, you would say so like crazy. so like image so like right. that's what I'm saying. So right. on the level, so you have Beyonce, Ronda Rousey, right? Yeah. Let me speed it up. Okay, so. And, and you had to pick one woman to protect you. That's common sense. Though. All right, so common. you said Ronda Rousey, right? She's a fucking okay. player. Is she, he's right. saying Beyonce's perceived as bad? Is that no. What saying? I'm saying that Ronda Rousey is perceived as bad, right? right? But Beyonce, she might not be able to do a swift kick, but I can call in SBI. I got friends. Right. I got that. I can protect you way more than Ronda Rousey. I just said that. You think that Ronda Rousey? I just said that to you. What'd you say? I yeah. said that yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. If we're talking about the Beyonce. billionaire Beyonce, yeah. we're gonna have security. She has enough money, right? Yeah, he'll go with Beyonce. So, please. so then why you switch it? So why you switch up? No, because you said you said that. I didn't say nothing. You know, let me finish my question. Why did you switch up? No, he said if you're going, if we could have everything, he'd go with Beyonce. I did, but say. naked, he'd go with Rousey. Yeah, because he said you go with Ron, and so he that's said what the just, women do. The women go with the so, the, the, the and the but we know that the perceived protected, right? And we know that the loud mouth. We know that the loudest person in the room is most likely the weakest, but the women don't know that. Right, right, right. Well, like twenty twenty three perception is reality, man. Instagram, whatever I post. Whatever face I post on Facebook is mm. what you is what you know is what you made up in your mind of who I am mm. perception you know and that's your reality right and who's to say it ain't real so you know shout out to Brandy Brandy I'm what she say Brandy you never you've been rocking with us for about two years uh, I want to get this off my chest man yeah. I'm gonna need you to send some stars Brandy one day soon <laughs> you've been rocking with us and, and watching the show and, and trying to go work for two years yeah, you're you the reason why I've got monetized. Because you said I need to be monetized. We need to do. We did it. So we just, did it. You know, I, just, I, I just, just, yeah, Brandy, you know, you said that. Brandy said it. Brandy's the one that put the. In, look, she put Brandy. the battery in my back. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Brandy said, "Dude, yeah, we yeah, play yeah, games. Y'all yeah. should have been monetized." And I ain't calling my whole girl out because I love her to death. But I'm just saying, I would love to see some stars come through for Brandy because I know we officially yeah. made it. Next topic, man. Yeah, we go. Next topic. All right. So next topic. Uh, Seventeen-year-old boy was killed. 
uh, by a 13-year-old and a 14-year-old. Let me tell you all the story behind it. The backdrop, we're going to watch the news clip. So basically, this 17-year-old this boy was getting ready to leave his house and was warming up his car. He see, And it was zero below weather outside. He seen a 13-year-old boy and a 14-year-old boy that looked like they needed a ride home instead of walking. Because I would do some shit like yeah, that, yeah, man. Right. Pick him up. And they wind up killing him and trying to carjack him. Shot him. The 14-year-old had a gun. Shot him. And wind up trying to carjack him, basically. Mm -hmm. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back. Teenagers are charged with murder. Accused of killing a Battle Creek Central High School senior. News 8's David Horak talked to the victim's family tonight. He's in Battle Creek with the latest. The two suspects, just 13 and 14 years old, are accused of killing Jack Snyder, whose family told me he was warming up his car while leaving his girlfriend's birthday party Thursday night. It was extremely cold out with a wind chill. Uh, it was looked at being roughly 12, 12 degrees. Um, and at that time, two teens walked by and Jack offered them a ride because of the temperatures outside. Police say the two, who have no ties to Snyder, got inside and later tried to carjack him near the corner of Battle Creek Avenue in Capitol Southwest. Two gunshots were fired, killing Snyder. The victim uh, was trying to be uh, right a good Samaritan by giving him a ride with the cold temperatures. I do know that he resisted the carjacking. Um, so again, he was trying to help out, but wasn't just going to give over the car. The 14-year-old was arrested over the weekend, and the 13-year-old turned himself in. Both are expected to be formally charged as adults. Police could not say how the two got access to the lone gun used in the shooting. Being that they're juveniles, um, I don't really want to comment on how much history they have. Um, we have, I guess we can just say that we, we have dealt with them before. Snyder's family declined to talk on camera, but told me Jack was a great kid and true force for good as a link and Red Cross volunteer. The Battle Creek Central senior was planning to apply to Grand Valley State University. When I asked what they want to come out of all of this, Snyder's family said they hope the court system makes an example out of these two young men and discourages others from following the same path. Snyder's visitation and funeral are later this week, and his family is encouraging any of you who want to help to donate to the Battle Creek Public Schools athletic soccer program, a place he was passionate about. In Battle Creek, David Horak. <laughs> Alright, so that's the actual clip, man, and I want to be the first to say, man, this is what's really going on in, in the world right now, man. We need some love somewhere from somebody. We need a village. We just had a woman on our show. She was fun as hell. Loved her on the show, but it, it's, it's people like that when she said, and this is not a jab at her, it's, I just think that this is where we're at in society. Like, there's people out there that's like, fuck the village, right? Mm-hmm. And the village starts when you start caring about helping these kids grow as human beings. And they're, these kids don't have fathers. These kids don't have parents. These kids are growing up by themselves in a home and, and watching TikToks, learning how to do things. And everything they're doing is weird behavior. Matter of fact, so, but, before, no, before we go any further, go ahead. I want to play a clip that's going to be tied to this. It's, a, it's some teenagers going into a random grocery store, just randomly fucking with people. Oh, and, and I don't think that really goes. I feel like it does, though, bro. It's teaching kids not uh, like to not respect people, their personal space. Well, Morals is gone, man. Morals is gone. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with you. Turn this up, Kyle. I want you to hear this. Uh, you ready? We'll be right back with y'all. Move A.K.A. Honey. Um, Back to the shower with another video. I told y'all, if y'all get the last video to 10,000 10, likes, likes in less than 24 hours, outside. it's like 12 in the morning right now. I don't got you outside for no reason. You're going it's not like, you gotta, he, he gotta make sure. <laughs> you sure you're not the Benz company? Definitely not, man. Can I get a dollar? Because I'm about to go to shop right and I'm about to go shopping. And I don't have a card, man. I'm not borrow your glasses. Uh, 
I need these, man. All right, first one. Yeah. Have a nice Guys, day. What's have your name? A good night. Dan. Dan? Dan. Huh? This is your job right here? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure you work here? Because it looks like you don't got the shop right uniform on. Isn't this supposed to be Chick-fil-A? Uh, shop at the Bro Shell Park. Huh? Shop at the Bro Shell Park. I can't hear you. Can you project your voice a little louder? Like, I cannot hear you. Mm -hmm. I want you to, like, project your voice. We are in the shop at the Bro Shell Park right now. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. Like, you want to punch me in my face? Well, you're real close to me right now, so I can't, it's hard oh, to I'm make sorry, focus. Uh, my focus range is limited. What's your name? Michael. Mike, and what's your last name? I don't need to give that up. I'm the RIS. I need your last name. I need your first and last. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. Ah, yo, he said you can't rap, bro. I said. Huh. Hello. Pants. Oh. Shoes. Oh. But I'm not a rapper. Oh. Glasses. Oh. Mask. Oh. Oh. Put him back on. I'm oh, he just dissed you. Do you got to yeah. come back, though? You got anything you got to say to that? Like, he just. Personally, I'm not letting that shit slide. So you better not let that shit slide, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said he a demon with a knock. So do you like do you got any knocks on you? Mm -hmm. You got the knocks? You know what the knocks uh, is? No, I don't. Uh, I'm a demon with his knock. So all right, so not to correlate necessarily mm -hmm. the young man that lost his life just trying to be a good Samaritan man. I'm trying to explain to y'all that it starts in the home. We keep having this conversation. It does take a village. Because if even if Charlie hypothetically speaking, your baby girl, she was like punching the wall and it's not we had a restaurant and, and you at the bathroom and me you and charlie said that we eating and then all of a sudden she's throwing something i'm like charlie no don't do that of course you know like right, right, like right. seriously right, though bro right. because what happens is so many people are scared to say something and and, and fear of the response of the parent but i, I know me and your relationship you yeah. would know like just seeing me with my daughter i would never just like be disrespectful to your child i'm just like right. no charlie you shouldn't do that I, right, well, still, I I encourage you to speak up more. You know, sometimes we will get backlash. Because I remember a perfect example. I, I ref for a long time. And uh, what actually did change me, you know, as I say that, because I ref and with uh, girls, boys, whatever, they fall down. And I'll be like, get up, get up. Especially if they're younger. I'll just sort of like say, get up, get up. Try not to make it a big deal. But this lady jumped off the stands on me. Mm -hmm. Don't you tell my daughter to get up. She could be hurt, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, whoa. You know, this is probably third, fourth grade. Yeah. You know, so... It's just the parents, you know. The parents are the ones that, which is the younger generation, softer. But yeah, now, but now, in that moment, could you have taught the parent yeah. on why you telling her to get up? Not that because she, she may have been hurt, not that instant, but, but she will get know. trampled on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and so, it's just, a, it's just for life. You fall, get up. Right. So I need for you to, for your safety. I'm not telling your daughter to lay there because it's because there's nine other people on this court that have run over her head. That is right. That you is know true. what I'm saying? And so she don't understand that mm -hmm. because she never been there. But I don't think that was his philosophy. I get what you're saying. Cal's philosophy is get up, keep going. That's well, what I, philosophy well, is. Well, that's, which, which some people might be against. You know, especially nowadays, Fuck being softer and stuff. I, but that's how I grew up. Well, now I don't mind saying, hey, get up, get up, let's go, keep on. Now, you know, did I you get that from it. like watching reffing and when they and so did you get so did you pick that up like okay do you think it's a safety thing or oh, do you I think it's an insensitive thing because some people may see it as insensitive insensitive right and not exactly no this is from years of working with kids and just seeing these parents that's what it is when it comes down to when they come to my class, they bring in their kid, and they come to me ahead of time. Hey, excuse my kid. He has ADHD, blah, blah, blah. Excuse my kid. He has to take his blah, blah, blah. And then I, I listen to them and treat them like the kid. Okay, okay, ma'am. And guess what? Tell the boy, get in line. You know, you speak with a firm voice. I'm a man, of course. Don't, Don't listen to me. Like that. You know, if, no, no, no. I'm saying the kids okay. usually have no problem with them, no matter what you tell me mm. the diagnosis is. But... Shout out to Yo Yo. She sent stars, man. We appreciate you, Yo Yo. Shout out to the queen of the show. You know what it is. And now, uh, anyway, I guess we, yeah, how, we got ventured off. So, no, I agree, I agree with what you're saying, though. When we didn't get ventured off, we're talking about like it starts in the village. And, and oh, we, speaking Leela, speaking I know we keep having up. a, I know we keep regurgitating the same conversation, but it's, it's these kids are so fucking broken. And it's, it's somebody got to be able to say, so what? no, that's so, not okay. And then again, you know what I see with that though? My fault. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just see young and dumb too. You know, these boys have, we can see them. 
They couldn't see us when we was young. When you was book back, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They couldn't mm -hmm. see us when we was 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? We didn't have no video to broadcast to the world when we was right. acting like an ass. Right. So I also see young and young. Mean, you're you know? all, all kinds but but of for these kids to kill, yeah. but for these kids to kill a good Samaritan, just trying to give them oh, a ride that home. there, that there is just. But I think that the world is becoming sick. It's almost war. I mean, almost war. Two sides. It's a bunch. Because the story is now. I almost wore my college The story, itself, right there, right there you said that, the you story know, itself. He just picked the Just book. don't sound so like he's trying to touch him or something. I'm saying <laughs> what? that. I'm, I'm not saying that. Make sure you I'm like and share. Like and share, man. Saying, we got 11 people here. I'm just more. saying like that share. it's hard to imagine that a 17-year-old woman up his car off the school see some young children walking down the street. It was zero below temperature. Okay. Yeah. Understand. Like that. And so he said, hey, y'all need a ride? They say, yeah. And they, and they shoot him in the back of the head. It's, it's, too, it's too much. Too, it's too it had to be it's too perfect. Too you know what I'm saying? It had to be all the lines of star that here this perfectly fine gentleman who's cleaning off his car in the middle of a snowstorm, yeah. see some kids, and then you offer them a ride and they shoot them in the head. It's yeah. too perfect. It's narrated. Too perfect of a, of a story. It just now, man, and so, because if we going back to the village, the village teach you. Uh, I don't care who it is. I'm gonna give you a ride. Don't trust nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm, don't trust strangers. The 13 year olds should have been afraid of the 18 year olds because <laughs> if, because. Oh, no. Because the thirteen-year-olds, if they found in the ditch, then someone will ask why they get. But you know what? That's living. That's, but you can also say that's living scary too, man. And for the most part, part people are good. You know, I don't live scared like that. Like, oh, I might get my head chopped you off. Think? But you have to be cautious, though. I guess. But I agree with you, Cal. That situation but, is cold. Two little dudes. And we going to school anyway. Come on, that's normal. But like you said, that's I too can short, see that. In, that's too short. See, well, well, I can see that. Because a lot of a lot of communities outside of this have that uh, have that seventh grade to senior so right all right. in one building. Right. So right. they right. may know each other. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. they may know each other so. if you put that twist to it. But seventh seventh would have been reversed. Or it might have right. been the parents telling the Then story. the question would have been, <laughs> why is there thirteen year olds <laughs> riding with eighteen? I agree with you, but but with you. Because you took both angles and made it I didn't weird. have. You just scrabbled everybody's <laughs> brain up in the goddamn have. conversation. Lena, pick a side. Do you, or, oh, who's wrong? Is, is the kids wrong for getting in the car? Or is it because you took both angles and then scrabbled everybody's brain up? I'm going to tell you like this. I would prefer my child, my children, not to get in the car with so anybody. You don't believe in the village. But I also respect somebody that's but offering you somebody a ride. In the village. I believe in the village because. What's no it, 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 it costs nothing to be kind. So what happened in that situation? Let me break this down. What happened in that situation? A, a Samaritan offered them a ride. And they're like, no, we're fine. We're only two, we're only two blocks away. And then mm -hmm. now they're going to be in a situation they see an old lady cutting her grass. Ma'am, we'll cut your grass for you. Just because the, the village is available doesn't mean it has to be used. That's my point I'm trying to make. Mm, gotcha. You're still teaching your kids right from wrong. You're still giving your kids knowledge on what do to do and what not to do. But your boy... Do you yeah. trust strangers or not? Because no. if you believe in the Hell village, no. you, do. you have to believe in strangers. Hell no. You, you don't just don't have to trust strangers. strangers. Yeah, people can't say you don't trust them, but you know why? Because when you're driving on that two-lane highway and you're coming this way and he's going that way, you trust that mother. Don't they go the right way. So we trust thousands of people every day. I can see that. So Y'all can no I longer can say that. that. What did you say, Cal? People. Please say that again. Just the time. traffic. I'm saying it. Two lane highway. I was thinking, I was thinking that hour. too. I was thinking trust that. them. I was thinking we trust. That. We trust people every day, man. We trust people not to just walk up and no, shoot but, us but is it store. that I, I, I hate to get Leland weird, but is it that we trust people or we we trust the design? 
which is like for example this mm-hmm. all right. so so no, because even even right Ooh, now you oh, you fasting <laughs> <laughs> even right now even right now no, 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 even, no, even right now being in this building because i think about this because there's thousands like 30,000 people that just died in another country right. from an earthquake right and they were all sleeping and they just trusted the process of this building they didn't know an earthquake right. was going to happen or nothing so as we sit here in this building, this building could collapse right now. Now we we you could say we trusted the engineers that made exactly, it. Exactly. We could say we trusted the the uh, the yeah. people that made the regulations. Everybody. At that point, we're just trusting the design. So mm-hmm. the road is made to split. So because I think about time, I'd be like, what if a motherfucker just decided to which veer off and go hands on with me? Which yeah, which they do. do. So I don't necessarily think I trust the people that's in the car. I that's trust the design and pray to God that the people in the car is coming. So, do you <laughs> trust the village? The village in a roundabout way. Yep. Uh, do you trust the, the design of the village? But he was the one. Or the concept. The do you do you trust the concept of the design of the village? Is that what we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we just went to outer space with this conversation, <laughs> no, he bro. Said what you said. But he said I what you did. Said. I, I'm saying y'all agree. Y'all, y'all agree. No. Right now. No, because like I said, we don't, it's, it's, we wake up, I like Cal, when you say the shit you say, when you dumb shit down and be like, you woke up today, you in it, right? I, you I literally know. are taking everything that I, that so I like instill that in myself. So, good. so for example, I can get up today or tomorrow and my phone is not working. Right. Why am I able to talk to people from fucking across country from a phone anyway? I know you understand what I'm saying? So once you simplify life, once you, because right. I got what you were saying right away about the kid getting up. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with you calling her a uh, soft. You not you like get up. You got to keep going. Right, right, right. You got to keep going. Are you okay? So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so whether this this machine is going to work for us or not, whether our live feed is going to work for us or not, this shit can cut off today. The smartest dumb people could no longer exist. Mm-hmm. Brandy is still going to live her life. Yolanda is still going to live her life. Right. Uh, everybody going to keep going. So in life. Yes, you can trust the designs of things, and I pray that this podcast, Speak. huh? Go ahead. I'm just saying, like we trust the these things. That was things. a great thing for you to say. Yeah, speaking, yeah, 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 that was a good. But speaking of Yolanda, Yolanda said, "Oh, she's blind good. trust is not good." No, it's not, but it's reality. So, so it, it depends. Sometimes that's that's point. Point. I can't trust. argue. Sometimes with that. that can also be risk. So risk. when you pull up to a red light. You trust that that mechanism, but that's part of the design he's talking about. Right, that's just the that's a great design. point. I that's think awesome. I think we're ready. We got a we got a smart and dumb people history. This is the yep. <laughs> he got you there. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what I want to hurt. I want to spread it real quick some positivity uh, on Instagram, just to show you how rich you are. You know. Uh, Dude said if I give you ten million dollars, well, I, I'll offer you a hundred million dollars right now. Mm-hmm. But you can't wake up tomorrow. You gonna take it? Why the hell would you? Do what that? can I do before tomorrow? Did you hear what I said? I'll give you a hundred. Or actually, he said ten million. He said uh-huh. I'll give you ten million dollars right now. But you can't wake up tomorrow. Will you take it? What good is it if I? I'm can't... saying because I'm saying no. You know, you can say, well, I'll take it and give it to my family and all that, man. But he was just saying, just look how valuable a day is. Well, let's just break down, would you give a million dollars? If I give you a million dollars right now, but you can't wake up tomorrow, would you take it? I, I think No, it's I, just saying how valuable each day is. But y'all was like, shit, I'll take it. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I ain't saying no shit like that. Listen, bro, yeah. listen, I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm just saying how valuable I want to break it down in layman's terms. Realizing. I am so humble right now because I'm seeing on my timeline, every day I wake up, somebody is dying. Somebody RIP, oh, man, somebody RIP. Listen, every day... On this earth, that I can wake up, Cal. You should have watched the last show because there was. I, I hate to bring this the situation back up, but a lady came to my store. I'm just trying to explain you how valuable life is. A lady came to my store and was like, uh, "Could you box this for me?" And I was like, "No." She said, "I'll pay you to take this up." And I was like, "Man, I'm not charging you to tape up no box. I can do it for free." She was hysterical. She was crying. She was like, "Every time I come here, y'all so nice, blah blah blah," and she was crying. And she was like, "My son just died, and and oh, I can't." And I yeah, but I'm saying like. Okay. 
Keep going. With that was really, and then after she said that, and she, uh, you know, was grateful and happy, and she was like, it's people like you that keep my day going. And then she left the store, a guy came behind her and was like, ah, she fucking parked so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same woman that is contemplating her own death because she lost somebody she loved. But this guy couldn't fathom the fact that she parked in the wrong spot or how she parked. Uh, he, didn't us, he didn't give us, he didn't give us But how come his trip is less important than her trip? Everybody's on a trip. And so, All just rules, because... Lady. Here come Leland. So, here come Leland. Well, I'm All just being rules, so, lady. Now, if we being oh conscious and aware of everybody's trip, a trip is a trip. We don't know if that man uh, like that. had possibly or... I, I agree and with so, you. And so, just because the older woman is on a trip, that don't mean that you had, that you get a pass to go out in society. To mess up the design. The design. So you a rule follower. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I, I get you. But, 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 but no jab at you. No jab at you. No jab at you. What I won't do is tread on another one. Listen, this is no jab at you. So when I pull up to your career, no jab at you. Go ahead. This is just the reality of the two ways we think. Okay. I pull up to the crib. And son, 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 your son was outside. I was like, I was like, and then I went and I was like, I wonder if he's gonna come over here and ask me what I'm doing because I, all of your kids look alike. They look like you. <laughs> so I'm like, I wonder if he's gonna come up here and chop it with me so I can know who he is. But it's it's who the person is. So you gotta also grasp this. Your baby girl came in. Hey, dude, gave me a hug. Completely different, total opposite. But I'm gonna tell you like this: when it came to if it was my son or my daughter, I think that they they know how I am, and I'd have got on their ass and been like, you should have went and spoke to Leland. Right. That's just who I am. Now, like I said, with your son, I was kind of like, eh, is he going to come speak to me, or is he not? I don't know, because I also know who their daddy is. You know what I'm saying? His dad, like, I don't fuck with people. So I don't know if that's, they're living off that mentality, but his daughter did come give me a hug and made me feel right. good, because I really fuck with your dad. Right. But, but at the same time, bro, if my son said, I see Leland outside, I, I, the first thing I would say, did you speak to him? Right, right. Did you go talk to him? And ask him how, because that's who He's I am. Telling your son you now, to act like a man. It would go back to my point. He could have been on a trip. Yeah, he could have yeah. been arguing Facts. with his old lady. Literally. He's in a car. Yeah. You don't know Literally. what he's going through. He could have been fired. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what went on in his mm -hmm. man day. That's that when that man got out that car, that he glanced and didn't pay you no attention. You don't know what is true. So how does that move? Agree. What you thinking like that? How does that make you move? Or how should a person move? I ain't taking nothing personal. Mm. Oh, there we go. That's what the message is. Who was it though? Don't take it personal. You don't I just want to know. Because all of your kids look like you. Uh, I believe it was June. But I know June. Well, I don't know June. But like again, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Know what again, this is a 22 year old man. He 22 right. now? Yeah. He older than him? You know what I'm saying? He, well, he'd be 22 in July. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Him. Him and my son went to school together. He got employment issues. He got yeah, shit going on his life. Mean, so recognizing, even though it's you, don't take it personal. Don't I like that, That's prioritize in that moment. You may not, because and so a lot of people do that. Yeah. And so oh, what kind of I learned, yeah. and so that's just like, and I'm gonna give some personal spill. That's just like with my kids. They older. All my kids are twenty, and so when it's disrupt this behavior, I say, well, it's got to happen because we all in this environment. It's going to be disagreement. Yeah, yeah, fast. It's going to, why would I take it personal? Why would I take two, two people getting into it as, and they start cussing, and, and I take it personal. Like they talking to me, and you disrespecting me. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know what they're arguing about. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what trip they got going on. So that, that means we got to sort of like, what is that, let go of our ego or something? You like have that? to stop personalizing no, I, I and say, get yeah. off your own trip. Yeah. And get off your own trip. Us, us, you. us, us yeah. as adults, yeah. if it's, we think that kids is ungrateful, we are ungrateful. Somebody ain't moving at a moment. If you ain't respecting me at this time, this time, this time, like, Hold on. But a kid yeah, yeah. doesn't know that yet. So when Some say, of them do. Some of them do earlier than others. A lot of people do. That's the same way. Some of them don't. That's the same way. Like, Everybody. That same way 
you got a certain age, 10, 11, oh, you was I, cussing. Oh, as I soon as you got out the earshot of an adult, was you was you kidding me. Listen, was you good in school, man? Oh, I'm not hey, no, 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 no. Listen, hey, look, you were cussing, you were doing, you were doing, and a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times, and then we gonna jump because we gotta get the Okay, but a lot of times, that's the only thing that young adults have to grasp onto is their voice. Because they ain't doing nothing financially, they not doing nothing in their life, they not thinking they where they at with their peers, and so the only thing they have to say is, motherfucker, <laughs> and then when someone say, hey, watch your mouth, what you talking about? I'm grown. I can say what I say. I can do what I want. I'm grown. Because that's the only thing. You that's the do. only. That's their last straw. Yeah. Because if they had a whole bunch of straws, if they had a whole bunch of straws, they would not. That would be their last thing they'd go to. Right. They'd be like, yes, ma'am. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. ma'am. Right. 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 But they grasping on to something. They can control it. Oh, but control but the, adults, yeah. the adults is grasping on to something, too. And that's relinquishing that they become an adult. That's relinquishing that they don't have to treat you as their superior, it's that not. they can treat you as how you behave. I mean, but but respect, I want to say this for sure. Respect, short, for respect mm -hmm. should never be something that should be decided by a, a young adult. Respect that should be given because you're elder. And, and I, I said better. Does that, 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 that mean when your supervisor come up on you and he try to finesse you? And just because you're a younger adult and he's an older adult, you, you got to respect that. I, I said, this, I, said I, give people, I give people the same energy. I reciprocate energy. This is what I learned in life. Like, I really do. And once you reciprocate somebody's energy, okay, boom. There's a lot of people, man, listen, I, I had a, a, a deep conversation with my kid's mom today. And I said, I learned so much in this last year and a half about, like, energy and how, like, the people that belong in my life, they still here. A la Leland. You know how many times me and Leland and fought on this show alone? Oh, yeah. You know how many times Leland, I off the show, we didn't, and he's still here. You want to know why? Because I ain't taking it personal. If you want a trip, if you want a trip, you be on a trip. Next time, if you want a trip, let me tell you. If you want a trip, I ain't got to ride with you. Make sure you like and share, man. Make sure you like and share. Make sure you like and share. Make sure you like and share. You didn't let me finish my point on that, man. Let's get to this. T.I. is the paperwork. T.I., he had a paperwork party, man. He, he told him himself. What time are you at? What time are you at? Keep rolling, man. Time. Joe Rogan go for four hours. He got he got a, a weird angle with this. Let's watch the clip of T.I. and he his paperwork weird, party, man. We'll be right back with you. Paperwork to show me. I got some paperwork to show him. And y'all leave him out there, motherfucker. Please let him motherfucker know that the paperwork was present. And if they wasn't here, they shouldn't be saying a motherfucking thing about the king. You hear me? I've been waiting on one special invited guest to show up, and he ain't showed up yet. But it was somebody who had something to say about me and had to question my, you know, disposition to some of my cases. But he ain't here to see my paperwork. And I just don't like for a nigga to goddamn get fly, then get shot. You hear me? My nigga, I'm, I'm right here in the cellar. You hear me? So come on, if you got something to say about me, if you think it is when it ain't, ain't but one way to clear it up. Nigga, pull on up. Let me show you what you're looking for. I want to see who want to see it. You hear me? And if it ain't, if it ain't, and, and then after you see what you need to see, it's on you now. to go straighten that shit up. Because, nigga, you, you done got too far in the job. You done got too much dip on your chip. Everybody got some paperwork to show me. Paperwork to show them. Paperwork to show me. I got some paperwork to show them. Alright, so that's the actual clip of T.I. post. I mean, having a paperwork party to prove Boosie wrong, man. Listen, we these are men that when it came to the street shit, let's just be honest. These are men that when it came to the street shit, we thought they really lived this life, mm -hmm. right? Listen. When we was 19... It don't matter when it was, bro. And now, now the internet is making these old heads, these old gangsters, these old supposedly thugs weird. Because you believe to, in Chris Brown? 
Hell no. Nah. Chris Brown is doing opposite. <laughs> Chris Brown is now a blood all of a sudden. No, but you're, right. you're spot on. But I'm saying like these dudes like T.I. T.I., listen, you don't have nothing to prove to nobody, bro. You solidified. Well, now, I, I agree with you. But a lot of times is what I believe there's a fine line that sometimes there are entertainers that happen to be street. Oh, yeah. So you now you want to entertain and be street at the same time? Huh? So now you want to entertain and be street at the same time is what you're saying? Yeah. Because I think Young Thug so, was the real so, street. So dude. that's the same way. He's now, he was, so that's the same way. You at so when, that same way you at work, right? Uh -huh. Someone come in and rap this, okay? Uh, Y'all get into a little disagreement. You know what I'm saying? Now you'll be polite up to a point. And then be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? But but it's not even street. It's human nature. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? At some point, when someone challenge your natural being of a a human. Then you react. No, it's not street. But so if you sitting in there saying, for example, he had work and he's saying, Well, ma'am, okay, I can't take the box. I can't take the box. And she gets it, uh, 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 and you be like, Look, I can't take the box. But, but I could politely say, um, For how long though? For as long as it's called being professional. But listen, with, 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 with T.I., so he could have did it completely opposite. Let me just say what he said. But, but T.I. No, T.I. No, T.I. is definitely on some strange. But T.I., though, but T.I., though, is a human being. Now, but outside, outside, the, money, though, outside the money, outside the money, outside the rap, he's a human being. He comes from a place yeah. that to where if you called a snitch, regardless of what you heard your Boosie? celebrity... You heard a man say, Boosie. Uh, let's watch a clip of Bootsy saying, T.I., it's, it's I want to tighten it up or okay. lighten it up at the same time. This is Bootsy at, at T.I. at T.I.'s. Not on my thing. Hey, hey, you know it's what? not playing on my thing, man. The the, the video, yeah. but no, it wasn't playing. It, it was it was muted for some hey, reason. Let me see why. I don't know why it was like that. Oh well, man. Well, Tim, he a weirdo, man. He looking like a weirdo. Uh, I appreciate you. Know, he looked it off. He looked it off. Because what you throwing a paperwork party for, man? That's weird. That's you told weird. it yourself. Right. You the one that said you told on your cousin. True. Boosie came story. back with. Boosie came back with. He lived by. If you do criminal activity of any kind and get caught, and you participate with the police to lessen your sentence for your crime, you're a snitch. That's what he lived by. That's how he felt. He said his uncle came up to. Him, he said, "Boosie, you know you can't drop that out, right, right?" Right. And he said he didn't say much more after that. Yeah. Right. Left it at that. So, so that's now, what he with that by. said, now Boosie is in the public eye, right? Yeah. Saying this. All, all of this, his attacks is in the public, publicly, right? He has the paperwork to exonerate himself. T.I.? Yeah. So T.I. said he lied? Not, no, not exonerate. T.I. said, yeah, T.I. said that he was joking. That's, Boosie said that. He said, I yeah. think the nigga was just talking. That's what he was saying. He got to talk. Oh, I, I thought T.I. was saying that he really did No, T.I. said that he was joking. I don't know, about, bro. I don't know. Yeah. That's not the angle I got. I got that. Well, 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 that's well, what happened. He provided paperwork, for paperwork, paperwork to show that he's not the one in there. The but the party. people were saying there's another name in there. Was that your fake name, T.I.? Because... T.I. is showing the paperwork of the case, and his name is not in there as a snitch. Yo, sure, that's, that's why he's showing the paperwork. paperwork. Yeah. But the people so, are saying, well, there's this other name that's a random name, but it's the same last name as your daddy's last name. Clifford. And that could Harris. be you. No, it's not that. It's something else. And, uh, and so he's showing his paperwork. Look, right. my name's not on this paperwork. I didn't snitch. But people are like, well, who's this? But the real, but, your fake but so I did not he, know that's the angle. He's showing, so his, right. So his I angle thought he was saying, like, that, I did snitch. No, 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 no. So his angle is, is that here go the paperwork. 
I did not t I did not say my cousin did this, did right. that, did that, right? So they saying that okay, there's a mystery person in there that may be TI. But TI is saying no. I was joking. Here go the paperwork. I never told on my cousin involved in that case. Here go the case paperwork. So why would he just, just like that though? He just he, he started up for, for attention, obviously. I he think he was taking the Charleston White angle. He was a, a little bit for a in the back. Oh, there Let's go. watch Charleston there White pull up to the paperwork party. Oh, He'll be right yeah. there. Do we? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you bust that right. Alright, right, goddamn, what they got going? <laughs> he's still having the paperwork part. Uh-huh. There you go right there. <laughs> With the yeah, there go tip car right there. See, that nigga had that paperwork. There you go right there. There you go right there, man. Oh, sure will. Yeah, I'm gonna try to ride the one down the street. Nah, yeah, you if you want to, you ready to fight? <laughs> you ready to fight? <laughs> Shit, I got my mate. I got no picture of him. I got my mate. Y'all ready to fight? Really or y'all want to go check his paperwork? <laughs> uh, shit. I got a little more than Mason in this car. Yeah, okay, because I got an event too. Now I don't want to miss my event because we yeah, fucking with Tiff's nah, event. Shit, yeah, I, I got back end money to pick up. A lot of he, it. He had, he, is this, this, this boy having an after hour paperwork party. God damn it. Shit. Yeah. All right, Cal, I want to read a couple of these comments off real quick. Go ahead. Oh, uh, no, no. I was just saying, we're going we gonna to particip we participate with y'all talking to us. Uh, yeah, Lucy, not a saint. Yeah, we all know that. That ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, it, it ain't the messenger. It's the message. He was he was giving out. And I don't I don't live like that. I ain't no thug or nothing. But that's just how he live, and he's standing on it. I respect Well, him. I mean, Boosie, you don't have to be a saint to have an opinion. Right. Exactly. Everything is subjective. You know what I'm saying? So if, if 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 you think that someone told on somebody who is dead and they don't have the opportunity to respond, you don't have to be James Bond. You know what I'm saying? You just like he just I don't agree with that. He's just going off the principality though. He just said, like you said, Kevin Basin, you did criminal activity, you told on somebody else. You're a snake. I You're can't a respect that. Bam. That's it. it, it so, no, the Boosie got to be insane? No. No, Boosie is far from a saint, actually. Oh, Boosie beat a lot of cases. Oh, he don't provide all this murder charges. Murder charges. Q, Q, music. Yeah, yeah. 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 But Boosie, yeah. come on, man. You know, as little as Boosie is, he didn't have a lot of motherfuckers. As cool and funny as he is. So should, so should T.I. Now, do I think T.I. should have threw the paperwork party? Yes. What? Why? Why? Because... The attack is in public. Well, the I, I think I think that Ti is, is is Bootsy with more money. He's staying relevant. I think Ti is is tied into a higher power. Well, now he go well, now, well, now, well, now especially after this. I well, think now here's the thing, though. He go he go the question though. Bootsy ain't fucking Rock Nation and people like that. He 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 is he 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 solidified. All right, so hold on, so Bootsy. But T.I. has looked weird ever since this all started. Bootsie is a hood legend. And, and uh, Vlad TV made Bootsy relevant to... A national. A national yeah, legend. Vlad TV did. Bootsy was just a hood. Well, just a down south, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said what I said, I stand on that. What's that? I said what I said, I stand on that. T.I. and Bootsie are on two different colors. You got to be bugging the heck out. When it comes to entertainers. Oh, you're talking about national. Yeah, because T.I. has been national since early 2000s. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Bootsy was... T.I. throughout and the region Bootsy is not the same. Right. I do agree with that. That's all I'm saying. But but nowadays, T.I. don't surpass him now, I think, in the public eye. Why he trying to team up with Bootsy? No, that's T.I. That, that's with Bootsy. Right, that so looked desperate and weird. So, so, Lita, you thought that was weird, didn't you? So Did have you, you, I, have you and Cal you know. had a conversation outside of this podcast? No. Yes, so well, yeah, 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 so, yeah, so yeah, what yeah, happens yeah, is yeah. when people vibe, they just vibe. It has nothing to do with what I'm speaking on with Bootsy. Maybe T.I. is like, man, this shit would sound hard if you was on it. And then he like, yeah, let's do it. I think Bootsy was just showing T.I. love because he got I mean, all his love. But I don't think Bootsy really ever But it was all like, but but it the way was, he talked about it, he was like, I was with this nigga. And he wouldn't have held that shit in if he really had it. But the it way was, he was talking about it, he Bootsy holding really, in but 10 bodies right now. Right but now, like it, it, but God 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 thank God he did because he <laughs> got off on all of those bodies. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, but, but, but can we celebrate that? Really? Fuck no. no I know, I know. Should you know, we? And that's crazy. We celebrate that we, OJ. We respect the man. I don't know if OJ did that. <laughs> hey, he said he did it. 
Hey guys. You don't know Boosie. Hey oh man, yes. you about to cut hey us off, man. Oh man. Now you it's time to right. say oh, goodbye to all my yeah. Negro friends. And Caucasians, listen, this is the smartest dumb people. Anthony and that dude Johnson. LB the great cow. Yo, I appreciate it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, come out. Cali Cow. Hold on, come out. We got to clear something up. My stage name is Universal Lee. <laughs> well, but Lee, I, I, I need you to try to reinvent yourself just like, just like Diddy. But hold on, man. My stage like name. Universal Lee. My name. He <laughs> just reinvented himself last two shows ago. So listen. My stage name is Universal yeah. Lee. Y'all get it right. Universal Lee. But don't call me Lee. <laughs> like like Listen, this is as far as dumping what did you do, Charles? Universal man. League, Cal. I appreciate you coming to the King. I appreciate you, man. Listen, bro. Listen, this is as far as dumping people. Y'all have a great night. Alright guys, what I need for you guys to go ahead and do is go over to our YouTube page, make sure you like, subscribe there, and also check out our Instagram and make sure you follow us there, man. We'll give a follow back for show. Sure. Holla at us. Alright guys, what I need for you guys to go ahead and do is go over to our YouTube page, make sure you like, subscribe.